Was King Tut murdered? Hey, hello, how are you doing? Welcome back, Aaron's here again with another video to practice your listening comprehension. For a similar lesson, check the link above. In this video, you will hear an intermediate level listening text about a mummy, King Tutankhamun's mummy, and we are looking into his case, if he was murdered or not. Before you start listening to the text, please take a look at these keywords you need if you want to understand the following story. You can pause the video and check the meanings of these words. At the end of the listening activity, there will be six multiple choice questions about the story. Okay, without further ado, let's jump into history again with this handsome Egyptian mummy. At just 19 years old, King Tutankhamun was still a teenager when he died in 1322 BC. He ruled all over Egypt for 10 years, the last king of a powerful family that had ruled Egypt for centuries. After his death, the body of King Tut, as Tutankhamun is usually known today, was placed in a luxurious gold-filled tomb. There he laid forgotten until the tomb's eventual discovery in 1922. Although we know a lot about his life, the reason for King Tut's death at such a young age has remained a mystery, with murder the most extreme possibility. Now, improved X-ray technology and DNA testing are offering new clues into the life and death of the boy king. When British archaeologist Howard Carter opened King Tut's tomb, it was still full of gold and other amazing items. The tomb of Tutankhamun was found hidden in the Valley of the Kings. Although some of its outer rooms were robbed in ancient times, the tomb itself was not opened. Inside were walls decorated with colorful paintings and nine layers of wood, stone and gold, protecting the body of the king. To reach King Tut's mummy, Carter and his team had to remove four huge boxes or shrines. Each shrine was made from heavy wood and covered with golden pictures of the Egyptian gods. Carter's team discovered a beautifully painted box called a sarcophagus, carved from a single piece of stone. Inside it were three mummy-shaped coffins, one inside the other. In the last coffin, made of solid gold, lay the body of the boy king. His head and shoulders covered in a stunning gold mask. Carter spent months carefully recording the treasures. When he and his team then attempted to remove King Tut's mummy, they found that it had become attached to its solid gold coffin. Unfortunately, they did a great deal of damage to the mummy while removing it. In 1968, archaeologists conducted the examination of King Tut's mummy using simple X-ray technology. Three important discoveries led to various theories about his death. The X-rays showed that bones in Tut's chest were missing. Some guessed that the damage was caused by a war injury or an accident. There was a small hole in the back of the skull and pieces of bone inside it, causing many to believe that Tut was killed by a blow to the back of the head. Was he murdered by people wanting to take control of Egypt? A serious fracture was discovered on Tut's left leg Tut was hurt a few hours before his death. This could have been the result of an accident. Could an infection from the injury have killed Tut? Then, in 2008, scientists again analyzed Tut's DNA. They found that he suffered from flat feet as well as a bone disease that would have made it difficult for him to walk. When they analyzed DNA of the mummies in other tombs nearby, they made some shocking discoveries. They found Tut's father and mother, who had similar DNA, were actually brother and sister. The DNA they passed on to Tut may have left him highly vulnerable to disease. Did an infection that started in his fractured leg, added to the bone disease, cause his death? No one knows for sure, but scientists hope they will someday have an answer to this age-old mystery. How does the tax you have just heard answer the question, was King Tut murdered?
How he died is still unknown. Which of the following has not been suggested as a reason for King Tut's death? He was attacked by a snake. How was King Tut's skull damaged? It was damaged when it was removed from the coffin. When was King Tut's mummy found? In 1922. Which of the following did Carter not find in King Tut's tomb? Tut's parents. What did scientists discover by analyzing King Tut's DNA? He suffered from a bone disease. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some new English words and probably you have learned something about history as well. If you like the content, I'd be grateful if you clicked on the like button, which encourages me to create new videos. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to switch on your notifications by clicking on the bell button. This will help you get notified when I upload new videos in the future. Hope to see you in the next lesson. Cheers.